Alrighty. Well, let's move on to our game against uh, OCG players. Isan. Isan Thraisu is playing. Sorry, uh, I said the Thraisu in Japanese accent. I didn't mean to. Uh, it's a Tri Brigade Zodiac deck. His name is Isen. Isen, sorry. Yep, uh, so opponent's gonna go ahead. I've got absolutely no interaction. It's basically, figure out what the opponent has and then deal with it. Yep, just go to cards, push summon Karis. Now, does he go for four or two? He goes for two. See, this is good. I, I can respect and understand this, and yet every one I go against lately has been just banishing four, and I'm like, okay, I'm my win. Yeah. Like, why don't you go for this thing first, and then the Appaloosa after it? I don't get, like... So Appaloosa is actually a bit of a pain to deal with in this Yeah, and then game, you set Revolt, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's when a very I first good le learned about, like, the Tri-Brigade Zodiac deck, I was told, yeah, it makes Appaloosa and Ancient Warrior's Oath, and then after the new set, it will also set Revolt and become, like, a real deck. And I was like, okay, sure. So this is what I expected every end board to look like. It has never happened to me before. They always, like, banish four, like, right away, and they end up not having this guy or something, and, like, they end up with, like, the Silver Sharp or whatever his name is. Yeah, it's... It's, yeah, there's a bit of a learning curve. I'd recommend any player who wants to do that for, who played Tri Brigade Zodiac, because it's good against just about everything. Well, it has a good matchup against just about everything. It doesn't have, like, any horrendous matchups that I'm aware of. So those are Monster Negates, so grass is just happening. Yep. And there goes the first of three Appaloosa juices. Yeah, so I essentially need to burn down the Appaloosa, and then the Appaloosa can be liable opponent because zero attack monsters when I'm trying to swing for the fences yeah. is exactly what I want to see. So, if you were going to play Tri-Brigade Zoo, would you play Moon Mirror Shield? Moon Mirror Shield, the equip spell, it always means you're 100 attack over them. Yeah, because Appaloosa is, it's changing its original attack, right? So, if it got down even all the way to zero, and then you just swung with it, Moon Mirror Shield would make it, in this case, 12, and then after it resolved, it would go back to being 24 and have three negates again. I mean, that'd be great, but then you gotta play Moon Mirror Shield, and... Uh. And there's a lot of situations where Moon Mirror Shield isn't so good. So in this case, I want to banish the... Oh, I forget that card's name. Uh, Nerville. Yeah, the I want to banish a Nerval because it keeps my opponent from getting additional resources in their turn. It doesn't stop the Tribrigade Revolt from resolving. In fact, he just gets it back and puts it in the graveyard, but then it means my opponent's not going to be able to search their deck for a card. So I've only really got to answer what my opponent's got in play. Yeah, there's also next turn they won't be able to use Nerval either. Called by the Grave is a very, very, very good card. Yeah, Called cool, cool by the Grave. Weirdly enough, you cannot resolve it when you try and resolve the left arm offering because you have to banish a hand as a cost, uh, <laughs> which is one of the reasons that cross-site designator, you can preemptively play it on Ash Blossom uh, before you banish a hand, but a bit of a bit of a tricky one. Called by the Grave has a lot of application, so in a lot of matchups. So yeah, at this point, I can now make sure my snow sticks. My opponent makes me banish extra cards for it, but that's fine. I know I have got lethal on the next turn, depending on what my opponent's draw is. And I can refresh my graveyard as well with a Minerva, so that my snow is super healthy. Yeah, I feel like no matter what he summons, you called by the grave the same card out of his graveyard, and he can't banish to Link, and he's just got a 3000 vanilla in play. Yeah, essentially, and he's got a zero type monster that I can beat over to win. Uh, I can even Utopia double that as well. I can't remember if I sent the, Utop the double or nothing from my deck to the graveyard with grass. But either way, I've got access to a raw kill next turn. Yeah, and I've got I've got called by the grave, so there's no way that Nerval's ever gonna win. If, if it was even gonna be a thing. Yeah, it's just gonna be about getting the Guardian Slime in play. No, it's not. You just discard it, and then you get the effect. Oh, wow, Joker's Trade is really good. <laughs> yeah, Joker's Trade is a really good card. Uh, you just have to get that. It is obnoxious. That is crazy. And then you can Chain Block to hide the Guardian Slime underneath the King's Knight. So instead of getting a Jack's Knight at the, the Ash Blossom, uh, well, basically the Ash Blossom would stop me getting a Jack's Knight, but I can now go ahead and Ancient Chant and uh, get the Ra out of the graveyard. 
He just scoops uh, it up, yeah. That opponent just goes, no, I am not I am not gonna be the guy who gets live stream losing rough. That, that is wouldn't ever happen. Wouldn't ever happen, mate.